Hi, I'm Caleb Horst with Cell Scale Biomaterials Testing. Today I'm speaking with Chung Hao Li at the University of Oklahoma about his research using the biotester. Thanks for joining us, Chung Hao. Uh, I understand since you've started at uh, the University of Oklahoma, you've purchased a biotester and are also working on developing some of your own equipment. I wonder if we could start by just having you explain to us um, the journey that that's been for, for buying and building some of your own equipment and, and, and what the uh, the implications of those decisions have been for your research. Yeah, thanks for having me, Caleb. I'm um, really happy to share my experience with uh, other researchers. So two years ago, uh, when I got this faculty position at OU, I looked around different um, uh, products in, uh, available on market and try to see how I can really pick up the right by actual mechanical testing system for my own research uh, focus on functional trichotomy for our, uh, biomechanics research. And then I, um, and I found out the biotester bio, uh, bio bio, manufactured by your company and it's a, a great system that offers all the capabilities and specs I needed for performing the type of research in my life. Say for example, the corresponding low, uh, versatile displacement and force control, the corresponding DIC technique for strength, you know, implant stress, uh, tissue strength calculations, and other capability as well. And, and also this is the, the, the system with the best value uh, on market. So that's, and that, that's offered me a great opportunity to really set up my lab, providing research pro uh, projects for my students. I'm glad to hear that. And you mentioned in our conversation earlier that you were also adding on to the capabilities of the system uh, with a custom imaging system that you're working on. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? What we try to do is to be able to really, you know, uh, dynamically monitor the real-time collagen fiber changes, you know, for of the tissue in response to mechanical loading. So, so last spring semester, I sponsored a capstone project for mechanical senior, mechanical engineering senior students working on the development of this collagen imaging uh, system. And this is actually a totally new experience for me because we have to, you know, really develop a new device start from scratch, uh, scratch which is very different from buying the equipment on, uh, from market and really use the system. So it does involve a, a new knowledge about the, the uh, optical engineering and also how to uh, develop the hardware you know, developing the software as well and making the system uh, working. So now the next step is to be able to really do the integration of this collagen imaging system with the biactual tester. I can understand that must be uh, more challenging, but also I guess that gives you some very unique capabilities um, and hopefully lead to some good insights about what happens to collagen remodeling. Can you tell me, I know when you were at your previous position at, the, at UT Austin, you were working with some other mechanical testing equipment. How does that experience compare with working with the biotester? The biggest uh, advantage of using something uh, commercial system is actually the, the robust, uh, robustness of the, the biotester. So compared to some in-house system that has been developed more than 10 years, so, say for example, if the uh, piece of the component uh, broke down, we have to spend hours, you know, fixing the problem. And also, we are really not the person who really uh, built out the, uh, the in-house bio, biomechanical tester. So, in, in contrast, by using something uh, commercially available, like bio tester uh, manufactured by your company, uh, we are pretty happy with the, the system so far. In the past two years, we are able to really carry out a bunch of uh, uh, important research projects by looking at the biomechanics of the tricuspid valve tissues. And, and also, we will have continued development with uh, the integration of this collagen system. And, and what's the big picture of your research? What, how are, or what contributions are you hoping to make and where do you hope to get with the type of investigation that you're doing? So the long-term objective of my research program is actually to be able to come up with a predictive computational modeling tool for tricuspid uh, tri valve. So, and it does involve the biaxial mechanical data we collected, extensively collected, the, uh, the clinical image data, you know, talking about anatomy, the structure of the valve uh, 
uh, and also the corresponding finite element modeling framework. So building everything together, hopefully uh, uh, in the long run, maybe the next three, five years, we will be able to really come up with a tool that will tell uh, the surgeons you know, some recommendation like about what type of surgery and what kind of uh, the timing uh, for the surgeons to do the surgery and to be able to really enhance the long-term durability of the, of the treatment. Well, I, I certainly hope you succeed in that and make some really great contributions to the medical care that these patients are getting. And I also want to thank you for taking the time with, to speak with me today and share your experiences and your research. Uh, for those of you watching, thanks for taking the time. And if you have any questions, please contact CellScale. We'd be happy to speak with you.